Mm, sorry about that. Hold on. Sorry about that. So, today we're doing another little tutorial. And this one is like... Let me check. I'm pretty sure I just did one. And my latest one was, I think, number nine. Gotta look through all these videos and find it. So if my last one was nine, this would be number eleven. Here it is. Yeah, so this is number 11. Last one I made was number 10. I uh, don't want to talk about that. So going back to our LDD screen. As you can see, I have the LEGO Digital Designer Extended tab selected. If you want to switch tabs, you simply put the mouse over one of the tabs and click, and it switches. So if I wanted to be in normal mode, I'd go to the blue tab, click, and it'll switch over to that tab. But I want to be in the extended because this is where I do all of my models. Therefore, I need it to be in the black tab. So we're going to do another free build, and we're going to make another number one. So the very first thing that you probably noticed about this entire mode is the fact that every single brick in the palette is in red. Another thing that you probably also noticed is the fact that bricks aren't repeated. These aren't repeats. One has a pin in the middle, one doesn't. But um, basically, what happens is the program conden condenses your brick palette into only one of each brick and only red. Now then, let's say I don't want to work in red. So I'm going to come down here where it says filter bricks by color, click, and select any color I want. I really like blue. So we're going to make another number one. And this is very quite simple to do now because my entire brick palette is condensed. And there you have it. I made another, another number one quite faster than I did in the normal Lego Digital Designer. So, I have the entire brick palette in this Legacy Blue color. This color right there. Like I said, it's the bright bluish green, number 107 in the Legacy tab. Um, another thing that's really good about the Lego Digital Designer Extended tab is the fact that you get this entire separate row of colors that's called Legacy and also a lot more transparent. So basically I could make a lot better colors. So here's like my one of the favorite oranges I have. So we're gonna go over how to I want to change this little number one into orange. So we're gonna go over how to do that. In the other Lego Digital Designer tab, the blue one, that's normal, you would click on each brick and then select which color you want. On this one, it does it for you. You simply select which color you want from here. So if I want it black, I select black, scroll over it, change the black. If I want it to go brown, select it, switch over, go to brown, just like so. Now then, let's say I want a decal on one of these bricks. I have to click on the side of the brick where the decal can go, and then I put it on there. So now there is an I in our number one. And then if I scroll over here, I can place a little computer control pad on the number one as well. And that's how that works. Now then, all of my models are actually done in the extended version of LEGO Digital Designer. 
it's a lot simpler to use your brick palette is incredibly smaller you don't have to scroll around looking for any of the bricks that you need you just do it all in one color and then switch it up whenever you finish like so and um, if you watch my tutorial how on how to quick paint then you should know how easy it is to switch the paint job around and whatnot but um like I said I like using the LED extended version a lot better because of how small the brick palette is I don't have to scroll through it as much as I do on the normal version um, but uh, I'd like to point out another thing let's say you guys want to switch over between the two tabs you're gonna come up here to view right up here you're gonna click it you're gonna go down to where it says new themes you're gonna click on that you're gonna see three options here and one of them you can't click on because that's the one you're in so you have LDD Lego Mindstorms LDD extended so let's say I want to switch this model over into LDD the original so I click on that and our entire tab up here is going to change to blue because now I'm in the normal mode once more which is annoying because I have to scroll through it all to find the one little brick I need it's not even the same brown and you can't have the same brown, oh yeah you can no you can't so if you use the black LDD the extended version right down here you get boatload of more colors this is well this is the entire color palette that you guys get a lot more colors you also get a lot more freedom so that it, if you wanted to you could switch um, basically everything to whatever color you want the brick options are a lot larger uh, I just updated I saw this brick in here this is like a new one I kinda like it this opens up a lot of possibilities for me so I'm gonna probably use that some more but um you get a lot more options of what you guys want to do in the extended version it's a lot easier to use the extended version I highly recommend using just the extended version but if you guys want to use the uh, normal one so be it I don't really care I'm just telling you guys it's a lot easier to use the extended version and you can do a lot more with the extended version so yeah that's pretty much it remember to comment rate and subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys later thanks for watching